Aloha Koi. This is your County of Koi briefing for Monday, October 11th. I'm Managing Director Mike DeHelig. We are making progress on protecting our community. Statewide, 69.6% .6 of residents are fully vaccinated and nearly 78% have gotten at least their first dose. Mahalo to those who have gotten vaccinated. Mayor Kawakami has sent emergency rule number 27 to Governor Ige last week for approval. Due to the highly contagious nature of the Delta variant, certain restrictions must remain in place. The County of Kauai will continue to enforce state rules on travel, face coverings, social gathering sizes, business capacity limits, and other statewide mandates. Professionally organized event organizers are responsible for knowing and enforcing safety rules, including verifying COVID-19 vaccination or negative test results when required. In any event that is over 50 people must submit an event information to Kauai Emergency Management Agency at kauai.gov forward slash COVID-19. If you're hosting an event, you can request the Department of Health's mobile van to offer free vaccines at your event. For more information, visit kauai.gov forward slash vaccine. For the latest from the Department of Health, we return to Kauai Deputy District Health Officer, Lauren Guest. Lauren? Thanks, Mike. Our daily number of new cases continues to show a modest decline. However, Kauai County still has the highest per population case rate in the state at this time. Today, the Kauai District Health Office is reporting seven new cases. We reported 11 cases on Sunday, 10 cases on Saturday, and 10 on Friday. All of the cases are residents. Many of the clusters we reported in earlier video updates are no longer active. Thanks to everyone who helped our contact tracing efforts and to those who quarantined at home after learning they were a close contact. However, we still have the following active clusters. Three restaurant workplaces and three other occupational settings, two educational settings, one place of worship, and one cluster related to travel, lodging, and tourism. It's fall break for our students and teachers and lots of families are traveling this week. We want to go over some tips to keep yourself and your family safe. Most importantly, if you feel sick, stay home. Please don't go to work or school if you have symptoms. Many of our clusters have been started by a single employee who came to work with symptoms and got his or her colleagues sick. We recommend getting tested three to five days after you return to Kauai, especially if you are unvaccinated. If possible, work from home until you get your post-test. If that's not possible, be sure to wear your mask and avoid close contact with others. If you are exposed to COVID, it can take up to 14 days for you to develop symptoms or to test positive. You should carefully monitor your health for two weeks after your return to Kauai and get tested again immediately if any symptoms develop. Being fully vaccinated is the most effective way to reduce the likelihood you'll suffer severe illness or death, but breakthrough infections are still possible. Free testing is available at the Convention Hall in Lahui weekdays from 8 to 3.30, and results are provided the same day. Our mobile van offers free testing in Keikaha on Wednesdays, Kilauea on Thursdays, Kalaheo on Fridays, Hanalei on Saturdays, and Kapa'a on Sundays from 9 to 1 each day with same-day results. Testing is also available at Wilcox, KVMH, Lahui Pharmacy, and other locations. For more information, visit kauai.gov slash COVID test. Mahalo, Lauren. If you haven't gotten vaccinated yet, our mobile clinics will be on the east side and north shore this week. The Wilcox and Hawaii Health Systems van will be at the Kapa'a Neighborhood Center on Thursday, Lihui Neighborhood Center on Friday, and Wainiha Country Market on Saturday from noon to 3 p.m. The team from Ho'olahui will be at the Kanui Kapono Public Charter School in Anaholo this Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. All of these clinics are free and open to everyone 12 and older. For a full list of locations where you can get a free vaccine seven days a week, visit koi.gov forward slash vaccine. Please, please help us keep Kauai safe. Please don't travel unless absolutely necessary. If you do, get tested three to five days after you return to Kauai. Don't gather in large groups. Put in a small kind and stay outdoors. Wear a mask when around others. Masks are mandatory indoors. And please stay home when you're sick. Don't risk infecting your colleagues or classmates. Get vaccinated if you can. Mahalo Kauai.